geraai het. Kinkie van die land, skut af die stof van die land wat jou voorouwers beroof. Druk jou voetswille in die sand, doen die reel dans. Voel die rooie klei groen soos dit kraak onder jou en die raad van jou voorouwers oordra aan jou. Leeuwkop wacht vir jou om te leer dat jy, kinkie, deel is van die land, een koninglijke priesterdom. Die potte staan gereed, maar een dou die land is ook siek. Jou voorouwers was nie al juweel wat ontvoer was nie. Die land behoort aan jou. Kom neem jou sitplek in om die vier en luister na jou mense sy stories. Also in the collection um, is Don't Dala. Don't Dala. Hou op Dala of Dala rondgooi soos dit my naam is. Dit is geen label nie. Hy maak dit jou hashtag quote vir kwaai lyk. Vir my beteken dit ek kan een lyk wees van die mes die skote of die boots die nie gevreed. Ek is nie special as ek my 5 second stap doen nie. Ek is nie een breakthrough nie. Ek is die een wat elke dag struggle om by te hou met jou brand new car. Ek meen my gebed kan een mens net so ver vat. Thank you. Right. The next piece, shiny lips. Shiny lips. Leaders smash the faces of our youth. These leaders are relentless in closing a book that have pages that still need to be written with stories of lived experiences. The erasure of the battlefield between ghosts that are remembered and their counterparts wanting a, spa a space the size of a blade of grass which they can proclaim as their own a space to write their names on the walls. These kids are still running side to side yet behind politicians who should have been retirement experts. Yet they are still alive and proudly smearing the cow dung on our lips, telling us they are blinded by how shiny our lips are. As if we should be proud and honored, yet our mothers protest screaming and dragging their organs through Parliament Street at times I think about how we will look back at these crime scenes and the promises made by the villains to find the suspects. They always showed us history books of the deceased who robbed our humanity. Thank you. Skipping. Skipping. This is for sons who had to teach themselves to be a child of a father. The son who acts and reacts and is still to be ashamed. That shame dragged from corner to boardroom to toilets and alleyways, starving for a body. For the father who attached shame to skipping in the streets with sons who only want to skip, to dance over trauma and onto forgiveness, like the people in the church do, to gather the holy and be moved to another dimension of unashamed because that God sees you without your judgmental eyes and vulgar tongues slashing slurs at the body that he carved. For sons daring to be all or nothing and fathers who step out to be brave enough to dream in color while skipping with sons in hand. Thank you. Witness. Have you been a witness to sunsets, exhibitions of dramatic colors, radiance in abundance, the establishment of survival, but the dark comes with the sunset, becomes the honest friend, and I think about the innocence of a child that does not witness a sunset, but a life painted in tears with silent murmurs, no words, barely a tongue, barely a child, and no witness. A child who is scarred for the future. The trust in humanity has rusted, dipped in falsehoods of sunsets as pretty and forgotten children forced to smile at the sunrise. The following piece, um, if you go and look on my Instagram, um, for the first few posts I created for um, the session, uh, I added a song, um, I hope I'm saying it right, by Jabu Shlongani, Shlongwane. Um, it is a gospel song um, titled There's a Race I Must Run. Uh, 
um, there's also a slow version. Um, I would advise you to go listen to both. Um, this is one of the songs that I heard growing up. Um, my mother and um, the church sang. Um, so I titled this piece, There's a Race I Must Run. There's a race I must run. Wednesday evenings, our mothers sing, there's a race I must run. They are wolves communicating tongues to the atmosphere, hands intertwined with their God saying praise for our futures. When will we tell them that we are losing the race for our deliverance to victories, but still there is a race? I wonder if they have doubt about these prayers, these lyrics, would one of them speak about their doubt or would that not be running the race? Because we have tripped and fallen, we are stowaways. The ship is destined for drowning, which is to say, I am destined to be swallowed by the world. Thank you. Right. Uh, for the next piece, just my camera. I hope you guys can see this one. This beautiful, beautiful cover um, is one of my first international publications, uh, Sunday mornings at the river. Um, the theme was Africa. Um, and I sent in four pieces and they accepted all four. So I will be reading that for you guys now. African sounds. The truth about the drums, those are gunshots, bullets to the young, politicians, the only ones with more holes in their stories. Africa will never be silent. You want to visit Africa and hear lions roar. There's a roar, but no lion. Only women who cry for their slaughtered sisters. Africa will never be silent. You want peace and relaxation a silent Africa in the background, but Africa will never be silent. The next piece, a piece of blue sky. As I stand here in the Western Cape, next to a woman who sells flowers, I look up to a blue sky and my breathing slows down and I imprint this moment as a memory, knowing we all see a blue sky but we are, we are not all seen as human. I am an outsider, too light, too dark. My sky is blue as yours, but why under the blue sky am I worth nothing and condemned to not be calm? A constant state of fear and exclusion from a blue sky. The third piece in this collection African and more. I am told you are not African enough. You look for the darkest skin to call African, but I am a child of these roots. You label me as the child of rape, but I am a child of the soil. My ancestors came from all over the world and part of that world is Africa. Koi Koi and Sun carrying the language, the identity, the roots, the soil, the stories, and I carry them as a child from Africa. The last piece, flesh of their bones. Africa blended by history, divided by history makers, made poor by looters. Yet today she carries her children and gives and provides. Yet some of her children looked over the blue fence, licked their lips in desire. They baptized their siblings Joseph and ate the very flesh of their bones and blamed the looters. Never recognizing the revolution or the ground cleared for them to kneel because Africa has fed the suffering children so that their tongues may be sharp and the very bones left behind can draw the lines, the boundaries. Thank you. Uh, are we still good? Can we are I... enthralled. We are good. We are listening. Okay. Uh, next is there is no peace like a river. There is no peace like a river. Only pieces of a river divided by the bridges, forced into sections 
with fog and blurry directions, unequal and dysfunctional to our survival. Ringer Ringer Roses has become a noose around our throats and tongues, and the king's daughter, like so many others, have fallen on deaf ears. But down we go to collect the pieces of a river in hopes of cleansing a society with pieces of a river that are merely drops. Thank you. The following piece is titled War Wounds. Um, this is in large part a huge and a great thank you um, for amazing friends um, with their lived experiences that actually allow me to sometimes write and use their lives as a source. Um, and with, always with permission. Um, so this is War Wounds. A young girl lays down syllables of bones that only move when the wheel of war moves over them. This is not a tale. There are no happy endings. These are the screams and images kept in a tomb of war wounds. You can only wonder what the names were. She tells no lies as waterfalls run screaming, shattering the dust on her cheeks and burning the bruises. She carried their fingerprints on hollow journeys. There's still dust on her feet, connecting her with bravery. And we listen to her story, her life, and those of corpses with no names. This is about, a bra this is about bravery in a cruel world, about the strength that emerges from a body that is not a corpse, but has died countless times. The following piece also does not have a title. If you have a suggestion, please let me know. I promised a poem, a piece. I promised a kiss, a tip of the tongue, but never explain that it would be a blowing kiss, a false pretense, a wannabe embrace. But there is nothing succulent to a promise of this impactful kiss but never willing to pursue, drag, or smear your lips on another. How do you promise your lover that the rain will march, the dogs will howl, and if the crow has been here, we will hang the white sheets outside? Not for neighbors, friends, or mourners. We hang it for death because we were told that the white flag is a sign for peace, for surrender. And it's not as if this white has always been good, impactful. Look at death. I know I'm a super at night, still my lover, still my kiss. But I paint this sheet, every color of resistance. I take down this piece. Come here, lover. I want to plunder your lips. I want death to rise to the latest and breaking news that we have fulfilled this promise, a piece of myself, that I was truthful. And, with death, and when death comes, will blow a kiss in the wind. Right. Thank you. Next. Um, so I am not a good love romantic person and poet or writer. Um, I struggle with the romantic kind of things. And I've always told my friends, when one of them gets married, I will be forced to write a love poem. Even if it's full of cliches, I just wanna write a piece focused on love. So one of my friends, Shaz and, and Rafik, so they got married on the 18th of December and I was forced to write a love poem. So I wrote a love poem for them and I titled it Space. Here goes, Space. Love falls like rain in drops. Struggles to connect, but always finds a way. Love is standing on the beach and digging your feet in the sand. Cold, icy, yet a knowing feeling of life. Love is asking, can I have a cup of tea? And the kettle already boiling. Love is a seashell that is never silent. The ocean always rushing and calling you to peace. Love is day giving time to the night. Love is the sun making space for the moon and both share the sky. Thank you. 
That is my one attempt for love. Right. And the next one is Afrikaans one entitled Nochtans. Nochtans. I probeer nochtans staan. Beverig in angst. Ik vrees voor Peter Wies. Jij zei, ik heb jou nog altijd lief. Mijn storms drijft mij die berken in. Mijn skedel barst in een rots. En hierdie lichaam zoveel wordt vervang met bloed. Jij zei, ik heb jou nog altijd lief. Mijn woede barst dier wanneer mijn pijn niet meer kan bij jou nie. En die ink mij verlaat. Jij zei, ik heb jou nog altijd lief. Met mijn gedachten en steekzijd stamp ik mijn kop in een glas waarin ik mijzelf niet wil zien. Nie. Jij zei, ik doe nog altijd lief. Ik verloor en leer niet mijn les niet. Jij zei, ik doe nog altijd lief. Ik verdwijn soms in mijn bed en een vertrek zonder lucht. Ik schaag die maan af, ik verenig met die gebrokenheid. En die nacht heb ik je nog altijd lief. Right. The next piece is in other words. In other words, we speak, we leave words unspoken. I'm still trying to understand you in your language. We skip forward to body language. You made no sense after. Perhaps it was you speaking in tongues and calling us a sin. In other words, our eyes should have never locked. A hand touch and a wink were a grammatical error of your body language. When you have the other words, tell me when we sin again. Thank you. Attachment. When people stay, they look, show the doubt on their tongues and my exclusion in your life. Their eyes revealing the secret in their throats. You act as I am an add-on to you, a side order. But I am a crown, a jewel you can show off. I am a document, not private and confidential. My talents, I can flatter. I have a smile, but not always attached or sometimes must, as people tend to forget to add attachments in their emails. But don't forget that attachment is the focus and the email is the carrier a notification of the importance of the attachment. Always remember, an email without its attachment might as well be moved to the trash. Thank you. <clears throat> the next piece is dedicated to the young people who have lost their lives um, on the Cape Flats. Um, it's titled Trying to Survive. Young boys who don't live longer than 26, 27, 28 years that we only dream but they are murdered. Trying to survive these numbers and bullets and knives and boots and starvation and poverty make it make sense. Right. Uh, the following piece is Scam in Skander. It's an Afrikaans piece, and I will put a trigger warning on this one as well. Um, Scam in Skander. I fall nooit weer op my maag nie. Dra altyd a soot met a deep stem, met boor Sarah as bewys dat ek nie weer sal skree, help, help nie. Nooit die literaal, jy maak my seer, los my af, en die koor, jaap, jaap, moenie, moenie, en afsluit met die kreen van een sewejarige nie. Nooit weer die vermenging van trane, snots, poog, sweet, pus, kak, saad, bloed nie. Bloed wat nooit in die straat sal kryp nie. Um, next, on my list is the cons piece. Um, as for the previous one, I will put another trigger warning on this one. Um, it's entitled Openbaring. Openbaring. 
Wat doen jy, wanneer jou broerkie wees na die kappel op die TV, wat in die bed le en sê, Boeta, iemand het met my ook so gespeel. Wat moet ek sê, vir oe wat reaksie soek vir die openbare. My hand tal om om nader, om te nader. Ek is nie mami of daddy nie. Hoe help ek? Gebed. Sal God aanvaar as ek sê, maak dood, of verweider die nagedachte van alles, al sleed het my fout ook in. Wil jy my vertel wat gebeur het? Wie was dit? Seils was a Judas oor my lippe. Hy sit sy hand op my gezicht en laat het afkryp. So het die blauw naals geglui oor sy kinderlikheid. Klop aan die deur trek my terug. Hallo nuibe, en het vele muffins gebring. A speciale blueberry en ingesit vir jou broerkie. Lig die blauw naals die rooi lapie op. Dankie. Right. The next one is also Afrikaans one. Entitled Mother Cookies. It deals with abuse, so do what you have to. Mother Cookies. Ek hou my kop vast, terwyl my trane uitspoel en geluk verdwijn so die doen is soorse. Ek waag die ontmoeting van my snot en trane en hemse mou. Onmiddellik voel my veel moesse scheiding met die rooi seer. My hem tjouk my en die sand neem my foto van my gezicht. En ek spoeg uit een moederkoekie. Ek wou net speel, nie geveeg verloor nie. Dankie. So, I wrote a piece for Ingrid Jonker, also Afrikaans piece. Anti Ingrid. Anti Ingrid, ek was by die water gewees, myself nie verstaan en in die verte vergooi en verdwijn. Anti Ingrid, die idee van syp en versyp as die druk op my kakebeen, verstrengel in die tonnel om my haar te vervul, met meer as die aweesheid van een bloed. En die Ingrid noem ons waarde die poesie wat in my binneste diep in water le, van elke draabuit door die oorleving van die lichaam, elke gedig spartel met boos met syn taxes, beelde by paarse protest en dik veelige oorleving. Die Ingrid my longe doen het dode mars met die ritme van moor sy son weerskyn. Hier is my brein, kop, gees, oe, die hande en glimlach. En ek weet nie wat er gedeelte sing die bitter lied nie, maar iets van my het al gesterf. En die Ingrid toch is daar elke dag die orkest aan die sonse hitte, die lach met trane van die vriend, en ek tik aan my skouwer, herinner myself, en die Ingrid, al asem. Thank you. For my last piece, um, it is from this beautiful collection. Hope is a group project. Um, I will be reading him. Him. I drag my skeleton to the body of water in hopes that I can plant my skeleton close to the river. The riverbank tells stories to feed my soul. I anticipate the riches, the stream that flows to you and connecting us with hope. I reach for the hem of a garment only to touch the thread. I wrap this last thread around the finger fed by the flowing river. Thank you. Thank you. That was my last piece. Thank you so much, Jerome. Can we unmute ourselves and give Jerome a big round of applause, please? Jerome, that was amazing. Like some of the things that stayed with me were, you know, the whole skipping. I it resonated somewhere with me, and there was also a line in one of your poems where you concluded by saying much, 
oh, which is to say I will be swallowed by the world. That really, I felt, mm. I felt that. I felt that so deeply. It moved me so much. And thank you. Thank you enough for this reading. Um, so are there any questions or comments in the room? You can simply put your hand up and unmute or just unmute if you have any questions for Jerome, any comments for Jerome. I will stop the recording.